Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space ve ve Vehicle ve 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 Oh my gosh. The uh, video. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to do something really short and quick. Apparently, I am looking over the stats, and it, it does seem like the algorithm, for some mysterious reason, has dropped me. I don't know what's going on, but it's probably something to do with the game, or I don't know what's going on. But, um, so I'm going to have to figure out something out. Also, a quick update on um, the little story thing that we got going on in the community, in the community channel. Uh, I went ahead and I made something for tomorrow. So tomorrow morning around 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, Virginia Time. Uh, you know, look for that. Uh, the story is progressing and it's almost over. Uh, so that would be cool. And I don't know what to do after that. But I'll figure something out. But it's uh, it's it's not looking it's not looking it's not looking all that great. Um, I'm gonna have to find something, whether it be art or um, uh, maybe just uh, start doing the minute-long shorts. I'm guessing that'll probably do something. Uh, but we, I need to somehow jumpstart the algorithm. For it was it had me for a while. I was on I was on board for a while, but I'm thinking that maybe the reason why I got dropped was mm, the fact that even though the community channel or the community posts had had you uh, pick or select different uh, engaged the audience, even though it, it engaged the audience. Maybe it didn't do it in... I don't know. I, the YouTube algorithm is extremely uh, weird in many cases. So um, figuring out what's going on is is going to be a real challenge. But, but um, because I've been uploading every Wednesday and twice a week now for the past couple of weeks. And so it's it's... And I don't know what's going on, but it's a definite. When I look at the, um, you know, the YouTube thing that they got going on for the creators, they got like a, they got like, a, uh, come on, dashboard? angle, angle snap. There we go. Yeah, they got the the whole dashboard thing. Did that mess it up? No. Yes. So it's, I don't know, but we'll we'll find out. We'll find out where. We are, we are the space cult. No, <laughs> we are um, tenacious for sure. Us, us being the community for the KSP community. Um, KSP, of course, is not the only game on the planet. Even though a lot of us watch this channel because of only KSP, so it's it's one of those things where. I've been saying it for a very long time. It's one of those things where it's possible that very soon, if not sooner than you think, I'm going to have to Google the most uh, looked up games and try to see if I can't, um, you know, get get something going with the algorithm here and get it, get it, get it to notice me again. No, yeah, I was about to say notice me, senpai. But, um, yeah, so there we go. Um, that's, that's the dilemma that we're at right now. Not too sure uh, if, if this is going to fix itself or if I'm going to have to find some kind of way to jumpstart it somehow. Um, we have plenty of other games that uh, my channel, uh, the people that come to my channel like. Uh, one of them that got really that, that actually had really good views for not being a KSP um, game was City Skylines, and I do know that the City Skylines actually has a very strong uh, following right now. Even dare I say it, stronger than the KSP following. So it's uh, yeah, it's it's one of those. <laughs> So I don't know. It's like I said. Th th this is all. Um, what's the best way to say it? This is this is all saying that you know it's that nothing's gonna change right away. I'm still gonna keep uploading KSP videos, 
and stuff of this nature. But I, th I think we're we're getting to our wits end here with this. Um, I'm actually, I've actually communicated my thoughts to uh, Matt Lown, and um, he he agrees that uh, you know he's gonna keep on making KSP one videos because they seem to still pull in views and stuff. But he does have that other channel of Space News, and I was thinking about Space News, but. Matt Lown and Marcus House have that pretty much covered, so it's, uh, I don't want to, you know, it'd be freaking, what could I possibly add to the conversation? You know, it's, it's not, it's not like I have anything, you know, amazing to add to the conversation. So, um, yeah, there you go with that one. Uh, there's your sign, but, uh, but yeah, there, like I said before, that they are there are other there are other types of um, there are other types of games out there that um, it seems like my community does like, and um, I'm gonna see maybe about doing some of those for uh, for a change. Um, um, the, I hear a lot of people always asking if Dark Athena, you know. Miss Veos is, uh, you know, do like a collab, you know, with her and stuff of this nature and see if uh, maybe she'll play some Project Zomboid with me or something. You know, so, something to spice things up, make it fun. Um, it's always fun when somebody's running around, you know, screaming their head off because, uh, you know, the, the, the whole adventure thing and dying aspect of the game. Uh, but it's, it's it's neither here nor there. Like I said, it's it's like uh, we're just I'm still figuring it out what's going on with everything, and hopefully I can um, get this get this under control because it, it I can still see that I'm getting subscribers. The subscriber count is going up, and uh, like. Shoot, I want to say about a month and a half ago, the subscriber count was like at uh, 28,900, and now it's borderlining 29,700. So, you know, almost about five, seven hundred plus people. Uh, control from here, and control from here. In less than a month and a half is not bad. I mean, it's, it's, it's still, it's still climbing, but. Um, I'm noticing a, a severe, we'll just call this the X4, I'm noticing a severe drop right now in, um, in viewership, and I'm not sure what that could be. Let's go ahead and test this thing out while I'm talking, and I, I, <laughs> I just built this while I'm doing this, uh, eight minutes so far, I'm going to try to keep this video under 10 because I'm thinking that maybe it's because those two those last two videos were like 22 25 minutes long and that's you know because because of the fact that I have a KSP is obviously a very long game it's a building game so it's gonna it's gonna be very long when it comes to building things and testing things before you're able to even do a freaking mission I mean look how long it's taken to load up into the freaking game world right now I could literally go get a drink and come back finally. Golly. Alright, so. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this real quick. We're gonna test out this little thing. I'll be shocked if I can get this thing to space. I mean, really shocked. It's, this, is, this, is, this is low tech. It's not super low tech. Somebody was asking me about that in the comments below. Um, let's go for 10 degrees. Hopefully, we don't burn up. And. Oh, you know what? I screwed up. Hold on. It looks like it's wobbling. Wobbling. Yeah. Wobble? Yeah. Um, no, but somebody in the comments comments below asked me if if it was capable of if we were capable of building toggle mode. Toggle mode. So they're both back. If it was capable of of building a lower tech SSTO, and I don't know if they're going to be watching this one or not. Switch mode. But, um, yeah, obviously, uh, when I first started the career mode, 
RSSTO was just the basic swivel engine, the very first engine that you get other than these little the little flea solid flea booster or whatever they call it but once you get the swivel engine uh, you can pretty much make as uh, make an SSTO v right there and then uh, I think our I think we called it the fire stick because basically it was just a, a rocket that went up in one piece and came down in one piece Okay, looks like these uh, have died. Let me see about the drag. Drag is almost non-existent, so we're good. And I don't have... Oh, shit. I don't have a readout, so I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I'll have to look at the map while we do this. How much fuel do we got? Oh, well, we got more liquid fuel than oxidizer. We could actually probably cut some of the liquid fuel back and get more. I'm just curious. I'm really curious because I think, I think as long as the weight is real low, you could actually get into orbit with something small, but low tech. Especially with those Panther engines when they're at the max thrust, 67, 72, 73. Hey, 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 hey. Oh fuck. Yeah, I might have. I might have. 77, ooh, I might have screwed that up. Hold on. What's the power look like? Power's good. Yeah, I might have screwed this up. We're at 1900 meters per second. I don't know how many meters per second. Oh, actually, no. According to this... Oh, let me turn off... Okay, hold on. Let me turn off the... Oh, follow the program, please. Thank you. According to this, we have turn off those engines. 113 meters per second left. No, I don't think this is going to work. Okay, well, there you go. Um, I could, I could uh, take away... It looks like we have a lot of liquid fuel, so we could take away more liquid fuel, maybe add a little bit more oxidizer, but that could obviously go into orbit. I mean, it's got, it's got a lot of potential. If I fire up right when we're at Apoapsis... Right when we're at this, um, boom. Yeah, it stopped. Okay, we're out of fuel. Yeah, but look how much liquid fuel we got. Now, I could go back, but I'm going to try to keep this. It's already at 14 minutes, so it's, the algorithm's gone, probably going to drop it again. But anyway, that's what's going on right now. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye -bye. I'll try to try to do the zoom out thing. Whee! Yeah, there it goes. Whee! Yeah, that's pretty.